Hola, bienvenido, mi amigos. Welcome to the first ever Peruvian edition of Whiteboard Friday. It's, it's Peruvian because, as you can see, I am attired in a Peruvian uh, football jersey, which I recently picked up on my trip to uh, Lima, Cusco, and Machu Picchu. An incredible experience. I had such a great time for uh, Mazcation. I wanted to say hi and a special thank you and shout out to all of our friends uh, in Peru and South and Latin America. Just amazing time at, with Mazcation. And I'm taking some experiences from the Mazcation we had. I know that there were a lot of questions at the Mazcation event about some of the local SEO best practices. And I talked with some folks after the event uh, and in the Q&A about some things we can do from a local SEO standpoint. And I realized that it, we did a checklist the other week on Whiteboard Friday about some SEO basics, but we really didn't target local SEO sites specifically. And so what I want to do today is give you that local SEO checklist that you can follow for local and small businesses in a regional area, what they can do to improve their SEO. So let's start, number one, registration with major engines. Now, in the United States, in Canada, in most of Europe, parts of Asia, it's very easy, right? You, you either send a postcard to Google and, or Google sends you a postcard to your address and you fill out the uh, code that they give you, they'll call you on your phone, verify where you are. But in Peru and in many other places in the world, Google doesn't offer this registration. And so the key to getting included is actually gonna be step number two. So this first step is very easy. Everyone can and should do it. I know you're gonna check that off your list really quickly. Uh, and the major engines typically are, are just Google and Bing, but in Russia, remember, it could be Yandex, in, Bi in China it might be Baidu, uh, in the Czech Republic it could be Sejnam. I think in Norway there's actually a, a tertiary engine that's doing relatively well there. Some places you might even wanna double check with your Yahoo local listing if that sends traffic too. But for those folks who can't do it, and for everyone else, you should also be claiming your listing on all the major local portals. These are the international major local portals. And in countries like Peru, one of the big powerful ones there is actually TripAdvisor, right? And you wanna be doing this for places like Yellow Pages, right? YP.com, uh, Urban Spoon, City Search, Yelp. In many places, uh, Foursquare is actually quite popular. We found that in South America and Latin America, Foursquare was actually huge and Weirdly enough, Foursquare was a much more accurate map system than Google Maps. I think probably because of this issue. Wink, wink, nod, nod, Googlers, hello. Uh, so take care of claiming those listings for your business on all of these portals. If they don't have you listed yet, remember you can add your business to them. Uh, number three, get listed on key local sites. And this means regional portals. So a lot of times these are media institutions. So here in Seattle, it might be uh, king5.com. It might be thestranger.com, which is a, a local weekly publication. Could be the Seattle Weekly, uh, might be Como TV, right? All of these local regional sites that have listings for local businesses. And you wanna try and get included in those. And many times, remember that these media stations, they love to cover, whether it's in the newspaper or the weekly or the, you know, on their website or uh, with a TV camera crew, they wanna cover new local businesses. So if you're a new local business, you wanna reach out to them, that's a great way to generate some press. Uh, you also wanna be considering you know, regional portal sites that may not be specifically local focused. Uh, so in the Seattle area, uh, um, I believe it's Northwest, uh, what is that, nwsource.com is sort of our big local portal for aggregation. And these are, these are wise ones to consider as well. Uh, for these three, it is absolutely essential that you have consistency, consistency. And what I mean by consistency is the same name, exactly the same name, right? I don't, you know, I don't wanna see SEO Moz comma Inc versus SEO Moz Incorporated versus SEO Moz comma LLC versus just SEO Moz or SEO Moz.org. Same name, exactly the same name every time. Same address, same format of the address every time. Same phone number with the same phone number format every time. All of those things are critical to the consistency of citations that engines look at to determine, is this the same exact business that's being referred to here? even slight variations can generate those differences and can mean that you don't get all of the sort of link juice uh, or, or citation juice that the engines are using to rank things. Number four, do competitive research on listing sources of high ranking sites for your keywords. So let's imagine that one of your keywords is Seattle plumbers. So you do a search for Seattle plumbers and you see, you know, here's the guys in the top eight spots. Where are they getting listed? Now, 
it used to be very simple. You just click on them and you could see a big list of all the sources where Google pulled data from. Not so simple anymore. They'll still show you some of the sources for the images. So it might say Yelp or Insider Pages or um, you know, Zagat or something like that, Gayot. But now it's much harder because they will no longer show those. But it's easy. You just have to make a quick tweak. What you want to do is take the name of the business and the address and search for that. Uh, m possibly, you know, minus the site colon of the actual business's listing. And that will show you all the places where the address is. So for example, let's say I wanted to find all the local places where SEO Moz would listed. I would do a search like this. So I would search for uh, SEO Moz in parentheses 119 Pine Street, right, which is our address, minus site colon seomoz.org. I'm going way off on the side here, but that's okay. Uh, the reason that this is going to work is because it's going to show me all the places where there's a listing for SEO Moz not on our site that includes our address. That's what you want to do when you're doing this competitive research on those high ranking websites. And it's going to show you a ton of different sources where you should be listed for your local business to help with your local SEO. Step number five, review your reviews. What I mean by this is you want to go through all the places, all the listings uh, that are popular, you know, your, your Google profile, your Yelp profile, uh, Insider Pages, City Search, wherever you're listed. And if there are reviews for them, TripAdvisor, if there are reviews for them, see what they're saying and see if there are ways that you can get more people commenting on the positive stuff and fewer people commenting on the negative stuff. So for example, if someone says, uh, I was very frustrated that I didn't get a receipt, great. You know, so make, make sure the, that the folks at the front desk know they need to be you know, giving out receipts. Uh, if someone says, hey, I had a fantastic experience when I ordered this particular thing, great. Tell your wait staff, hey, you know, guys, people seem to love this thing. Uh, feel free to recommend it when people ask for a recommendation. And then when they do, great. Uh, maybe there's something special that your restaurant, that your business, that your service offers and does that really gets people excited and you find that when you do it for people, they are much more likely to leave a positive online review. Great, do that thing. This is your, comp this is your customer research. This is telling you what, your, what people think about your business and it's a great way to learn and grow uh, and become a better business. Number six, last one here, for goodness sake, Maybe I should put this in number one. It's so important. Audit your site's usability, accessibility, and content. Now, a, a local website does not need to go through all of the steps of you know, inbound marketing and thought leadership that uh, you know, a scalable B2B company or a startup or you know, someone who wants to take over the web and their category needs to go through. A local business can stay relatively focused on their local niche and you can earn top rankings with just a lot of the, the first five things that I've talked about here. However, however, you want to make sure that usability, meaning your site is phenomenally simple to figure out the places. I hate when I go to a, uh, you know, a local restaurant's website and I can't find the place for reservations. You know, it's not on the contact page or the about page. And where is it? You know, I, I'm looking for this. Have those key buttons that, that drive users to say, oh, right, these are the seven things I can do on the website. Those are the seven things I want to do on the website have buttons for all of those, have pages for all of those, make those easy to access, make sure there's not you know, a flash intro that's blocking someone or uh, an experience that can't be, for example, seen on a mobile phone or by search engines. This happens all the time with a lot of local business websites. And then finally, make sure that you have the right content. And you can do this very simply by when people come into your business, if you'd say, hey, we will give you a 5% or 10% discount if you can take this little survey for us or send it to 10 of your friends. Uh, or, or email 10 of your customers that you've got. And that survey should simply say, you know, what are the top five things you would look for from us on our website? The top five pieces of information. And people will tell you the same thing all the time. It'll be things like, well, I need your hours. I need directions. I wish you had a little Google map, you know, built in where I could just plug in my address. Uh, they'll tell you that they need, you know, a list of services. They almost always want prices, right? And if you can provide these things, you're just going to do a phenomenally better job of converting people faster once they find your website through the great local SEO that you're going to do. And there you have it, my local SEO checklist. Hope you enjoy everyone. Thank you very much. And thanks especially to our friends in Peru. Ciao.